and shrink down the search area a little bit. Then I'm going to press Analyze Forward. And basically what that's going to do is that's going to uh, keyframe each position of the corner so we have a proper looking screen. One interesting thing that you're going to have to look out for when you're doing tracking motion like this is to make sure that you don't cover a corner of the frame. Uh, in a longer version of this video, my finger actually covers the corners I'm pointing at the screen and in a later tutorial we'll cover on how to do that on how to, uh, uh, to track with three corners um, and how to mask around the finger properly but because this is a simple screen replacement we're just gonna we're gonna use the end of the video which doesn't use the hand so now we're gonna make sure that the edit target is on the uh, screen on the uh, pre-comp and press apply and just like that you have a screen on the screen. Um, we're gonna shrink this down and uh, yeah and uh, if we could do a quick render through take a quick look at it you can see that the, the screen is on the screen perfectly and that it moves with the footage. Now one problem that I'm noticing there is that the screen doesn't blur out because of motion or because of the motion blur so what we can do is we can turn on motion blur here for the screen and turn it on for the light or on for the composition remember you have to turn it off for the comp or it won't work so now we just have a quick motion blur as the camera kind of jerks over Good. Um, another thing you can do is uh, take the screen layer and just lower it below the footage and then it will appear below where the we chroma keyed so it will be the actual dimensions of the screen I think that's better because we kind of have this this effect right here of the screen reflection on the lip of the screen and that way it will look like it's actually pasted it won't look like it's pasted it will look like it's actually part of the footage which is always good work for realism right so there we have a we have just a simple little screen replacement now I'm gonna go into some effects that you can use to enhance this such as glow there we go and I'm gonna take the glow and I'm just going to stick it right there and that's gonna gonna do that right away. But uh, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to play around with the intensity and the radius. You know. So the higher the radius, the more glow, basically. So basically, the you still have the the effect of the the lighter edges as it kind of gets darker in the middle. I don't know if you can see that very well because of the screen capture, but you it is here, and uh, it's just a little bit brighter now. So with the glow and the the motion blur, you have a pretty realistic uh, video right there. Another thing you're going to want to do, especially on footage like this, because this was shot with just a point of shoot camera, is the grain. So if you look over here in this corner, you can see the grain. Now you might want to do a match grain on this. But because it's so bright, you probably won't like, you probably won't really notice it anyway. But you know that is something to think about when you're compositing other effects. So and because this is just a basic, basic uh, screen replacement, I don't know if it really is that that uh, that important. So as you can see, there we got a very simple, very quick, pretty good looking screen replacement. And remember, you can put anything you want on there. If you create uh, a square comp in After Effects, you know, that is just um, like a video of anything, really. Like a computer screen or maybe like a, a video game, which I've done a couple times. Or a movie or like the news or something. Then you can use that. And uh, now you won't have to be recording your screen. That's that's basic screen replacement. Um, I look forward to uh, tutorials in the future where we're going to be talking about things a little bit more advanced, such as... Uh, uh, masking uh, around fingers or a hand or anything that might go in front of your screen um, using the chroma key but also using other techniques to enhance it to get rid of the kind of the green fringe that you might see so we're gonna be talking about that in the future and uh, yeah so this was Zane Olson with Ion Films tutorials and I'll see you next time